We've installed and configured Visual Studio Code. Let's now discuss how to get started with programming in Fortran. The first thing to do would be to create a base project, which you can use as the basis for all other ones. So let's do that first. I've created an empty folder called Starting Project. Drag and drop this into Visual Studio Code. Go to Manage Command Palette and choose Make Init Project. C++. We now have a make file, undirect the source, direct the include. Include we can actually just delete, we don't need it in Fortran. And with the directory object. Let's configure the make file. The compiler needs to be gfortran. We need to set a variable cpp to gfortran this cpp. I'm going to change the flags over here to add debug information and a few more warnings. The extension of Fortran is F90, and we're done with the make file. Lastly, in source, create a main.f90, and a basic skeleton is this one. We're now done. Save the starting project somewhere on your disk, and always make a copy of it to get started. Drag and drop the copy into Visual Studio Code. Click on F90, and I'm going to write a hello world. The way to compile and run is click on the button over here. It opens the terminal, you see the compiler commands, it runs it, and we see the hello world. So when you start out writing Fortran code, you will place it over here. And after you become more experienced, it will grow in size. After a while, this becomes too large, and you definitely want to organize your code. And you do that with multiple files. So I will already give a demo of that. Also, because it allows me to show a little bit about the interface of Visual Studio Code. In the source, new file. I'm going to create vectors.f90. I'm going to click on main.f90. You can see the contents. And I can drag and drop this vector.f90 to the right and open it. So now I have two files open at the same time. So what I'm going to do is write a Fortran module which we're going to use from the main. I'm going to call it vectors. Note if I type in something wrong. You can see from the colors that this was not correct. The moment I correct it, you can see the colors change. So this is really, really convenient. I'm going to define a new type called vector and type it's going to have three elements, and real, x, y, and z. I'm also going to define a member function on this. It's going to be a procedure. I'm going to pass self, and the name is going to be length. Next, I have to define this. It's going to be defined after the contains keyword. It's going to be a function called length. Self is passed to it, and the result is going to be in a variable L. What I'm going to write here, I want to compute the length of the vector. First, I'm going to do class vector self, so I can refer to the elements. I'm going to define what the return type is. And then I'm going to say that the return value is the square root of self x squared plus self and then the member y squared plus self and then the member z squared. The module is now done and let's make use of this module in the main. Use vectors and now I should be able to define here the type vector. As you can see, this gives no errors besides a warning that is not used yet. So it works because we included the module, and now this type is known. Let's also do Unreal. I'm going to call it L. Initialize the vector to 1, 2, and 3. And then L is going to be 
the member function on the vector length. Elk now contains the length, so let's print it out. We're done. Play, compiles and runs, and it computes the length. And this is the correct value. I'm going to close the file on the right. The moment you hover over a uh, function, you can see that it returns a real. What you can also do, the moment you have many files over here, it's not immediately clear where this function is defined. You can right click and you will see go to definition and go to implementation. Go to definition, jumps to the vector file and goes to the this part. If you right click, go to implementation, you go to the implementations. So these are really convenient functions to have. This was a short introduction on how to get started with programming in Fortran.